Namaste, um, beloved ones, wherever you may be um, in this world, in this moment, I would love to um, bring a few of my thoughts at this time. I have been receiving a few letters from beings and friends all over the world, including at this time uh, many from uh, the Ukraine and from Russia, and of course from elsewhere in the world. And so I find in my heart today I wanted to share with you uh, these few, some few words. One is to let your heart be at peace. Uh, do not allow uh, fear, or bitterness, or hatred to darken your spirit. We are all aware of the tensions and the threat of war and destruction, and how much pain this will cause to all our lives all over this planet. When one of us suffer, actually, though we may not think like this, we all suffer. Another thing I wanted to say at this time, do not be overly um, uh, engaged with too much news. Do not become obsessed with news reports, um, because they are never quite conveying the full the fullness of truth. No one ever can. And if you listen to these kind of reports, they atmosphere is saturated with fear and uh, negativity also. If you listen in this way, they will easily bring fear and turmoil to our hearts and minds. This will destabilize us. Remain positive. Fear breeds hatred, and uh, it divides while love promotes harmony and peace. Fear, it brings hatred, which brings us to states of desperateness, and causes vulnerability, which then makes it easy for those who think in evil ways, to exploit us. Remember this. Keep your mind in a state of neutrality, and the great virtue and attitude of non-violence towards all beings. This is best. However dark things may appear, refrain from targeting others with hatred. This is very dangerous, and I really want to emphasize this. Instead, pray for peace and harmony. It is the greatest attitude, and it is the most effective and practical. However bad things may appear, remember, God is love. God is the very source of life. He has no prejudices. Trust in God, and direct your prayers to Him. Prayer works, especially when it comes from a heart that is kind and loving. Do not allow your heart to become inflamed with fear, hatred, judgments. For these destroy, while prayer and blessing uplifts and inspires everyone. Uh, prayer uh, it makes way for light to enter all our hearts. So again, I emphasize, and you may hear me say things like this over and over again, because of the importance it is in saying them. However bad things seem, do not become cynical. 
do not become possessed by fear. Remember, many great beings around the world and in higher planes of existence are in prayer. In times like this, in every bad situation, and they are ever blessing the world. Be one of them, be amongst them, for prayer works. It is the most practical and effective, for it brings light into the heart of all beings. Please remember that. No one wins by war. No one wins by war. Keep a calm and trusting mind. And I would like to add here, because at times like this, I remember how important it is to encourage those of you who are inclined to seek more deeply, to listen to and follow the Invitation to Freedom meditation. Because it brings your mind into silence and peace and deep stability. And remember, this is not running away from things. It puts us in the heart of the heart itself. It does no one good to be running around panicking. Our children are looking to us also. You may ask how to be a Peace, how to be at peace at this time, though? I have just said, you may listen to the invitation to freedom. Listen to it, it's only a few minutes, and it will restore your mind to your heart. You'll find peace. You'll find peace. All troubles are a kind of call to stand in the presence of God, to seek forgiveness for ourselves and others, and higher guidance. Please remember, remain humble and kind-hearted at all times. God knows best. They are Higher reasons why things happen that our limited minds cannot comprehend and will not easily uh, grasp. Nevertheless, look to God. Seek to know your real self, which is ever in harmony with the Supreme Being. Those of you who have been listening to me, uh, know that I always will bind you uh, to the very core of being, which is ever present with you. To bring the mind back into the heart of silence is very positive. When we are in the company of an agitated mind, we will not feel like this. We are pushed, driven to um, immature actions, hasty actions, which always uh, puts us into the shadow again. I stand with you when you seek the light. Again, I remind you, make no one your enemy in your heart, because this is very destructive, and it will destroy your peace, it will cover your being. This you must not allow. Whatever is happening in the world, it is also your call to be very present, to be very present. You are not a politician to go and make uh, political decisions now. Now I feel it's a time to be inside and to be very present, and to keep your mind and consciousness very open and full of grace and goodwill towards the old world.
be kind to all, to everyone in your prayers and blessings. Exclude no one. Include even your political leaders, your spiritual leaders, even people that you may not get along with. Include all of them. This is the highway. Include them in your prayers. For we don't understand the work that each person needs to do and the experiences they must pass through. And amongst the political leaders, their work is never easy. It's easy for us to judge sometimes. But I would encourage you to pray for their inner health and strength and clarity, that they become inspiration, inspirational, and that they are inspired uh, to take higher steps, which will be beneficial to all humanity. By the grace of God, because I put nothing above God, all things are under God. God is for me all pervading reality. Whatever your religion, seek to be in harmony with God's will. So I am praying today alongside you and blessing for a recognizable divine intervention so that the world may come to know and to learn to bring the Lord into the heart of our daily lives and that we discover that God is real, is reality, and is the very core of our inmost being. Most beloved ones, brothers and sisters, whoever you may be, I am in my humble way. Follow me in blessing everyone. Do not let your heart be filled with fear, with hatred, with judgment. But right now with me, let your heart be filled. Welcome the light and the peace of God, for you are never without it. If you can choose and go in the way of fear and hatred, you can go in the higher way of peace and goodwill towards one and all. I love you, and I make my stand with you in the presence of God. We have friends in our Sangha, beloved ones who are from the Ukraine, who are also equally from Russia, who we love. We see no difference in the way that we look. And it's the same spread all over the world, is the encouragement. Allow each one to follow uh, in accordance with their destiny. Curse no one. Bless, bless, bless. Pray, pray, pray. Incredibly, it is so um, possible that at a time like this, uh, to be at peace. To be at peace is not uncaring. It is not uncaring. It is full of care and goodwill. Please uh, stand with me and the many, many beings around the world, so many, much, much more than you can imagine, who are in prayer at this very moment, holding you and everyone inside their heart, holding politicians and uh, everyone whose karma and whose way may seem different to ours, but holding them in the loving space of our hearts. Join us. I love you, I love you, whoever you are. Do not allow the things of the world to darken your heart. Now is the time to rise up. Rise up to the highest within us, I pray. Bless you. I know who you are. I know that in the heart of your being you are full joy and full peace, full love.
times like this is a call to turn inwardly, not to be pulled out into the noise of the world, but to be at peace. God is with you, each and every one. Allow the grace and presence of God to light up your heart and your being. Turn to God. Those of you who have come into the space of contemplation and meditation, continue to rest inside the heart of awareness, as I have shown you. Those of you who are attracted to or curious about the what the invitation to freedom offers, you may encourage others. Please listen to this. Be a human being whose attitude is of gratitude and peace and goodwill towards all of life. Thank you for your attention today. I love you. I love you with the love of God. For God is love. And it is our calling in life, whatever our situations and circumstances may seem. Use them as a calling to come home inside our hearts. This is the greatest gift we can offer to the world, and to ourselves, and to our children, because it is their opportunity also to inherit from us the best of ourselves. I bless you, I bless you, one and all. In these moments, I have no favourite country, I have no favourite people. All are children of God wherever you may be. And I bless you. I bless you. I bless you, leaders of the world, prime ministers, leaders in every, in every city, country, village, that peace prevail in your heart, with the mighty hand of God. So many, many beings in the world, brothers and sisters, stand with you in prayer, Stand with them, stand with them, stand with them. Had your prayers uh, to this uh, higher vibration, because this is what is needed now. Yes, we must come in the world to sign our treaties and so on, but start with the treat of God inside your heart. Be at peace. This is the most Powerful, I cannot remind you enough, I cannot stress it enough. Be at peace and goodwill towards everyone. Divisive thought and hatred and fear is not going to support anyone, it's not going to support your children. Your children don't want to see their families, mothers and fathers, with fear pulsating through their veins. They don't. Now is the time to stand up with courage and love and held into the embrace of the Supreme. Don't fall. Don't fall now. If you are going to fall, fall upwards into the embrace of the Supreme. And I am not speaking poetry to you. This is very practical. All love to you, beloved ones. All love to you. Include me also in your prayers. Bless each and every one. Everyone. Bless your spiritual leaders. Bless your families, your parents, your children, your friends, those you may feel are enemies. Bless everyone. This is the highway. God bless you. Thank you.